And now, the continuing sad story of... Come on, Aunt Herbie. I know you're in the closet. Go away. But what you doing in there, Herbie? I'm drinking my cup of coffee. Black. <laughs> There's only one thing better than a good cup of coffee, and that's a cup of Kava instant coffee. Why try it black? You'll find it's less bitter because it's 90% acid neutralized. Oh, I don't know what acid neutralized is all about, but I sure do like the taste of Kava. You see, the other coffee is decaffeinated, but not Kava. It's 90% acid neutralized. There's a difference. 90% acid neutralized. How thoughtful. Have a cup of Kava. What a cup of coffee. Until next time, we're all brought to you by Kava, the only 90% acid neutralized coffee on or in the market. It's the great smooth tasting instant coffee with the really ugly label, Kava from Borden. Good evening. It's time once again to return to those exciting premiere days of radio as KRLD presents the thrilling adventures of the Green Hornet. the biggest of all game, public dandruff that tries to destroy our heritage. With his faithful manicurist Arnold, Brute Road, dashing Muncie, Indiana playboy hairstylist, matches his wit with the underworld, beating the brush for criminals and racketeers and rooting them out with a fine tooth comb. The green hairnet strikes again! <laughs> We'll begin tonight's exciting story in just a moment. Oh, another high utility bill. What can I do? Guardian Power Cleaning can help you control the cost of heating and cooling your home. Dust and dirt accumulate in heating and air conditioning systems. The movement of air through ductwork is slowed, and your furnace or air conditioning unit operates with less efficiency. That means the unit must work harder to keep you comfortable. The harder the unit works, the higher your utility bills. Guardian Power Cleaning does not repair units or sell parts. Guardian Power Cleaning has special equipment that vacuums away years of dust and dirt from deep inside your furnace and air conditioning system. Your home is cleaner and more healthful. You heat and cool with greater efficiency. In these days of continued inflation, I appreciate anyone who can help me control my cost of living. Call Guardian Power Cleaning today at 637-1520. It's like having your own guardian angel. Guardian Power Cleaning, 637-1520. <laughs> The city bus lines had become headline news. Accident after accident had occurred, all seemingly unrelated, and yet with startling regularity. Driver, look out for that truck up ahead. Hey, what the... He's turning right in front of us. Look out ahead. For driver. Something's wrong. Come on, get going. We'll be late for work. Give us a piece of service. <laughs> no wonder it won't go. The gas gauge points to empty. Empty? The yes. tank was full when I started out. Something must have happened to that tank. Leaking tire. Gone flat twice on this trip. No, no, all out. Oh, 
Being secretary to Britt Reed, publisher of the Daily Sentinel, isn't easy. Since all these complaints about the city bus line have been pouring in. I know, Miss Case. There. That's the third pile this morning. And these are only the ones addressed to you personally. <laughs> well... At least no one blames me for the, all the accidents during the past week. The city bus line seems to be breaking down completely. No one seems to know whom to blame. It's bad enough the way bus service has been disrupted. Without taking into account all the people who have been injured in the accidents that have occurred lately. The Clarion's running editorials asking for private ownership of the bus line. That may be the solution. Yet up until recently, the city has done a competent job of running the buses. What stand is the Daily Sentinel going to take, Mr. Reed? So far, we've been rather noncommittal. If the city transportation department doesn't do something soon to stop this sort of thing, naturally, the sun will have to... Hi, Reed. Hi, Katie. Did you bring the photographs I sent you for, Axford? Sure. That's what's in this big envelope, Reed. I'll have a look at them. Did you get a picture of every accident that happened on the bus lines the past week or so? Yep. Every one. Look at that one. Ain't that something? Well, that's the one where the bus overturned on a curve at the foot of a hill. Several people were injured in that accident. Mm -hmm. uh, you said it. That picture was taken a short time after it happened. You can see there's a big crowd around. There's a crowd around in each of these photographs. Well, the Sentinel did a good job in getting photographers on the spot in a hurry. Oh, that we did, Reed. Oh, golly, look at that one, will you? The bus land right through a store window. Oh, pretty bad. Hmm. There's one where a bus hit a truck. <laughs> look at that funny-looking little man off to the side there. See? <laughs> With that cap on and those big ears. He looks like, well, a weasel or something. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you mean in this picture? <laughs> yes, he screamed, though. <laughs> no, no, not in that one, Axford. I mean, here in the one where the bus hit the truck. Huh. Yeah, he's in that one, too. <laughs> he looks like he... Hey, now, how come he's in both of them pictures, I wonder? Hold on. Isn't that the same man in this third picture? Where? See, they're off to the left. Well, it is the same one. It doesn't seem possible he could have been on the spot in each of those cases. Each of those accidents was in a different section of the city. Now, wait a minute. We have two more photographs here. One where a wheel came off a bus. Another where a bus hit a streetcar. Well, let's see if that guy's in them pictures, too. Hmm. I don't find him in this well, look. Look in the center behind the crowd. That looks like his head. Right there, Mr. Reed. Well, you're right. That is he. We're suffering snakes. Look. He's in this one, too. Way off to the side there. Say, there's more than just coincidence here, I should say. Now, how the devil do you suppose that little runt got to all them accidents? And why would he want to be there? He could have gone there in a car, Axford. By following a bus he knew was due to have an accident. Holy crow. You don't mean to say you think them accidents might have been planned, do you, Reed? Well, they could have been, I guess. Though I won't go so far as to say I actually think they were. However, I'm curious to know why that man was at the scene of each accident. If there was some way to find that man, maybe the police could find out if he knows anything about those accidents. Sure, maybe they could. But how are you going to find a guy in a big city like this? Hmm. I have an idea. Yeah? What is it, Reed? Take these photographs downstairs. Have them make enlargements, eliminating the picture of the wreck, leaving only the head and shoulders of that man as he stands in the crowd. What could will that do? We'll publish the best one in the Sentinel. What for? Publish it? Yes. Remember, the Sentinel's running a contest this month. That roaming photographer thing where a picture is taken here and there throughout the city of small crowds. And some one person's face is picked out and enlarged. Sure. And the person whose picture is put in the paper comes in and gets tickets to a show. That's right. We'll publish that man's picture telling him to come in for his free tickets. When he appears, we can get a line on him and the police can question him. Say, Reed, that's a swell idea. It is a good idea. I'm glad you agree. Axford, you get the pictures made up, and I'll have Gunnigan run one of them off. After that, we'll sit back and wait for results. The following day, in his room in a remote part of the city, the little man in question looked up as the door opened and his girlfriend, Mamie, entered carrying a newspaper. Hey, Monk, your picture's in the paper. My picture? What for? Oh, well, take it easy, fella. The coppers aren't after you yet. Seems like you want a prize or something. I didn't try for no prize. It's must... right here in the Daily Sentinel. Look. Well, read what it says, Mamie. Okay. It says, winner in our roaming photographer contest. If the man whose head is encircled in the above photograph will come to the city desk at the Daily Sentinel, he'll receive two tickets to the hit musical Music in the Air, currently shown at the Playhouse. So, that's what it is. Yeah, the devil with our only tickets. Hey, are you nutty? Tickets for that show are selling for four forty a seat. So what? So I want to see it. Oh, 
Come on, Monk. Go get the tickets and take me to that show. But I tell you, maybe I don't want to go. Oh, Monk. Won't you do it for me? Please? Yeah. Okay, maybe for you, I'll do it. I'll get down this afternoon and pick up the tickets. Well, I'll get it's after five o'clock, so I'm going home. If there's anything else... Uh, say, Chief, I was trying to get in touch with you a while ago. That guy whose picture was in the paper came in for his tickets. He did, eh? Good. Well, he gave a phony name and address, as we found out by checking. But the cops picked him up as he was leaving so as to question him. Have you heard what they found out? Uh, not yet. I've been waiting for a call from Axford. He went down to police headquarters with him, but nothing's come through yet. I see. I'll be anxious to know what information they get. When Axford gets in touch with you, be sure to have... Oh, him. here he comes now, Chief. Hey, how you doing, Gunnigan? I thought you were going to give me a ring when you got Wasn't the any use, Gunnigan. The cops couldn't get a thing from that weasel-faced guy. They finally had to let him go. I see. Well, I guess I'll run along. If you hear anything exciting, call me at home. Okay, Reed. See you later. So long, Chief. Goodbye. See you in the morning, Gunnigan. Thanks. Right. Britt Reed left the Sentinel building and went to his apartment, where Cato, his faithful Filipino valet, and the only person knowing his identity as the Green Hornet, was waiting. Brett told Cato about the man in the photographs. Do you really think little men have something to do with bus accidents, Mr. Britt? Well, doesn't it seem strange to you that he should show up at each scene of an accident, Cato? Oh, yes. That seemed more than coincidence. Well, that's the way I look at it. I have a feeling that man is connected in some way with those bus accidents. Just what his motive would be is hard to guess. Just how he could be connected is a puzzle. The I... police get no information from him? None, Cato. You're not content to a drop matter, then? What do you think? I think you try to do something to make sure if little men have anything to do with accidents. Right. I'm going to a show tonight. You go to show? Yes. I'm going to see music in the air. And I'll have a seat directly behind those occupied by that little man and whatever companion he brings. If he did have any connection with those accidents, I'm going to find a way to make him break down and show just what that connection is. Yes, sir. What I to do? You go back to the apartment and bring the black beauty. I bring Hornet disguise, of course. Yes. Park in the alley across from the theater and wait. I'll join you there right after the show, unless you leave sooner. Then, of course, I'll join you then. Well, I meet you, Mr. Good. Good. What do you hope to accomplish? I'm hoping our little friend will lead us to others with whom we'd be working, if he had anything to do with those accidents. Why do you think he'd go to see others after show? My plan works out. That will be the first place he'll go. I'll see you later. Gee, Mike, that sure was swell. I never saw anything like it before in all my life. Uh, glad you had a good time, kid. <laughs> Especially since I didn't cost us nothing. A monk? Yeah? You got the stubs from in theater tickets? I don't know. Maybe I threw them away. Oh, Monk. I wanted to save them in my scrapbook. Look in your pockets and see if maybe you put them there. Okay, Mamie, but I... Hey, what's this? Looks like a letter. Well, don't I know that? Didn't have no letter in my side coat pocket. Open it and see what it is. Nothing on the outside of the envelope. Let me see. It's a note. Printed. What's it say? Hey, Mamie. Look at here. What's the matter? It's a note. Signed by the Green Hornet. We 
We'll continue our Green Hornet adventure in just a moment. Know what's great about pizza? After the crust, sauce, and cheese, you can top it off with just about anything. Now, if you have a favorite pizza topping, or for that matter, you can dream one up, that recipe could be worth up to $300 in Shotgun Sam's Pizza Topping Contest. Lots of other prizes, too, so pick up your official pizza topping entry blank today at Shotgun Sam's Pizza Palace. Your Dallas palaces are located at 3249 West Northwest Highway at 7530 East Grand. If your family loves great flavor, you probably already know about one of America's favorite desserts, Old South Frozen Fruit Cobblers. Now we bring you another incredibly good dessert, Old South Deep Dish Pies. Our tradition of old-fashioned flavor from the finest natural ingredients is right here in these new pies with fresh apples, cherries, peaches, and blackberries. Old South Pies and Cobblers, the great American desserts in the Old South tradition. The little man known as Monk stood for a moment staring at the note he had found in his coat pocket as he emerged from the theater. At the mention of the Green Hornet, Mimi gave a gasp of fear. The, the Green Hornet signed that note you say, Monk? Yeah, I read it. You can fool the cops, but you can't fool me. I'm out to get the gang you're working with, and you'll be in the net with them. Green Hornet. Gee, Monk, that guy's dynamite. Yeah, he thinks he is, anyway. I'm scared. Monk, what are you going to do? I'm not going to do what he thinks I will. You can bet on that. Come on, Mamie. Let's get going. We have good view of theater from through here, Mr. Britt. Yes. People are coming out now. I don't want to miss the man we're watching for. Well, that's right. If he comes out... Look, then... there's the man and girl now. They're reading my note. We're not able to drive into traffic in front of theater. No, we'll watch to see them get into the car. Then we'll go through this alley to the next street and spot them at the corner. Oh, good thing Black Beauty is facing the other way. Yes. There they go, Cato. They're going toward Coupe down the street. Yes. Take a good look at it. It show up dark red on the street light. They're getting in. Okay, Cato. Get going so we can see them pass the next corner. I don't want to miss them. Going into old house over there, Mr. Britt. Expert reported to me later this afternoon that the police followed the man home. This is where he lives. He's pulled a fast one on us. Fast one? Yes. He must have guessed that I expected him to go straight to the leader of the gang with that note. Come on. We'll do a little snooping. Well, lights come on in room on first floor. The windows are low enough for us to get a look inside. Let's go. Meantime, Monk was talking to Mamie inside his room. I got a hunch that Hornet followed us here, Mamie. Followed us here? Gee, Monk, what if he... Don't go getting scared. I know what I'm doing. What are you going to do? Now, look. You run across the hall real quick. Tell the landlady to call the cops and tell them the Green Hornet's hanging around here, see? And beat her right back. But why don't you go phone your big boss and... Then the landlady get wise. You know she sticks by that phone. Now, go ahead. Do like I said. Okay. I'll be right back. Make it fast in case the Hornet's snooping. And he won't know we're doing any phoning. When girl go out of room a while ago, then come back, you think she won't use phone, Mr. Britt? She wasn't gone long enough for that, kiddo. We wait a long time now. They just sit and talk. Maybe if Green Hornet go in, little man gets scared. That and might help. bring results. Come on, I'll go in. Oh, police come, Mr. Britt. Yes, run, Cato. We've got to get to the Black Beauty. Well, why do you think police come here? And that little man in there must have pulled another fast one, Cato. He's smarter than I thought. Here, Black Beauty. Good. Tell me, Cato, do you have those small glass balls filled with gas? Oh, yes, Mr. Britt. Here you are. Yeah. Also filters to wear beneath mask as protection. Good. Be sure you wear filter if you use shells of gas. I'll be sure. Get in. You're going to be on your own. So listen and do just what I tell you. (laughs) 
We sure put one over on that hornet, Mimi. The cops are in full chase. Yeah. But maybe he'll come back if he gets away, Monk. And if he does come Don't back... Don't worry. We won't be here. Now, come on. We'll go see the big boss. He'll arrange another hideout for us. Gee, Monk. You sure are smart. You said it, kid. Let's go. In another part of the city, a meeting had been underway for some time in the basement recreation room of Councilman Robbins' home. I asked you to come here tonight, Stacy, because things are progressing very rapidly in regard to the city transportation system's bus line. Fine, fine. Of course, if things go our way, Robbins, you get the uh, monetary reward we promised you. <laughs> I'm not very well liked on the city council, Stacy. Nearly everything I go for, the others are against. That's what I've been counting on in this case. Well, of course, we'll have to be assured that if they vote for private ownership of the bus lines, it'll come to our company. I know it will. Didn't I tell you that you had the best bid when they thought about private ownership last year and called for bids on it? Of course, the bids were all kept confidential, even though they decided not to give up ownership. Well, when you came to me with the proposition that you had a plan to force them to give it up, I was skeptical. But it looks now as though you might succeed. <laughs> now, listen... When we met today at the council table, the first thing I did was to make a strong speech about the city keeping ownership. When I finished, nearly every other councilman wanted to vote on giving it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sure bet. They'll vote on it tomorrow. And with our proposition before them, with promises of new equipment, low rates, we ought to get it. Hmm? If I wasn't sure of it, I wouldn't have come to him. Uh, one thing, though, Stacy. Yes? Before the boys come for their instructions, how about uh, some sort of written agreement? Well, sir, I thought of that. I brought this over. Drawn up according to our talk the other day. Uh, I am to receive 10% of the stock in $20,000 for services rendered. Good. <laughs> of course, this isn't something that could be shown, but uh, it's a protection for me. Uh, there are the boys now. <laughs> Uh, come in, come in. Thanks. Oh, hello. These are the three men I placed in the best barns. No use going into introductions. No, that's right. Sit down, boy. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, here on the table, I have a schedule of buses that run later tonight and in the morning. Okay, boss, give them to us. Here's one for each of them. The bus that's to have uh, difficulties is marked in red pencil with a suggestion in the margin as to how you might go about it. We'll see that things happen. Just like you want them to, boss. Good. I have a man checking up to see that the scheduled accidents do happen. He's been at the scene of every accident and will continue to see that you do your job. You haven't any kick coming so far, have you? No, not at all. I think you've all done a good job. Now, the, uh, that must be Monk now. Well, who's the young lady, Monk? You should know better than to bring She's her. okay, boss. Help me get rid of somebody who was getting on our trail. Well, I see you. Well, I mean the Green Hornet. All right, quiet, right, everybody. What makes you think the Hornet is... note. I went to show with Mamie, and this was in my pocket when we came out. You can fool the cops, but you can't fool me. I'm out to get the gang you're working with, and you'll be in the net with them. Same the green honey. What are you going to do? You don't have to worry. Monk got rid of him quick, didn't you, Monk? Yeah. I can't go back to my place to stay anymore, boss. He knows where I live now. How uh, did you get rid of him? Call the cops. Last we knew of the hornet, the cops were hot on his trail. <laughs> he sure must have got a surprise. Monk's smart. He knows all the angles. Maybe so. But that one is smart, too. We'll all have to watch our step. It won't be long now until we've accomplished what we set out to do. You'll never finish what you've started, Big Shot. Hey, how'd yeah. you get here? In the luggage compartment of your car, wise guy. Yeah, this is preposterous. He can't hope to get out of this room with all that's here. Don't worry, Stacy. He won't. My men carry guns. He won't leave here. Uh, that dope. He goes from one trap into another. I already got him covered, boss. So we fell him full of lead? Wait a minute. Hey. What's that? This thin glass ball is sort of a bomb. One move from any of you and I'll throw it. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, everybody. He's bluffing. 
That's probably nothing but a Christmas decoration. Well, sure. Thought it looked familiar. I've seen lots of them just like that. Don't say I haven't warned you. If that was a bomb, it would hurt you as much as us. Don't count on that. You're bluffing. And I'm calling you. Come on, boys, rush it. You have it, boys. Hey, look out. Billy! What is that stuff? Give me. There's something else that'll get you. I can't breathe. I held a finished crook. Hold it. The gas will take care of it. Well, that's good. You're wearing a filter beneath that mask? Yes, I am. We give up. We give up. Line those three mugs up and tie them. I do it quick. Let's see what this lug has in his pockets. Robbins. Councilman Robbins has a deal with Stacy of Citywide Bus Company. I'm getting men tied. They're going to sleep. That gas is very strong. Bus schedules. Directions marked for causing accidents. This is all the evidence the police will need. I'll phone them to come get these crooks. Later in the city room of the Daily Sentinel... Golly, Gunnigan, wait till Reed hears about this. Yeah, we sure got a haul this night. Holy mackerel, Reed's hunts about that little guy having something to do with them accidents turned out to be right after all, didn't it? Sure did. Reed told us about his suspicion and we went to work on that runt, but we couldn't get anywhere. It took the Green Hornet to do the trick. What's that about the Green Hornet? Chief, the cops... Reed, wait to hear what Let me tell you what we're... Hey, one at a time here, one at a time. Uh, you tell him, Ashford. Uh, no, you tell him, Gunnigan. No, you tell him, Sarge. Well, for Pete's sake, somebody tell me something. <laughs> okay, Mr. Reed. We got the gang that was causing them accidents. So they weren't accidents at all. Councilman Robbins was at the head of it. He was to get a lot of graft from a guy named Stacy who wanted to own the bus line. Really? The cops got them all with plenty of evidence. Funny thing, too. We got a call from some woman to come to that runt's address to pick up the harness. He must have doubled back and followed that weasel-faced guy to the gang headwood. And being sore, turned them all in. We almost got the horn at that time, too. Almost is right. Ah, uh, listen, Mike. You know as well as I do that Spalpin's full of tricks. He used a smoke screen to get away and a gas bomb to trap the crooks. Well, at least we know the truth about the bus lines. The city will continue to run them. Accidents will happen, of course. But thanks to the harnet, they won't be made to happen from now on. Now, we'll give Mr. Reed a little credit for suspecting what was going on. But the main credit for busting the thing wide open has to go to the harnet, I guess. Okay by me, Sergeant. Far be it from me to be envious of the Green Hornet at any time. <laughs> KRLG, you're reliving the exciting days of early radio. Tonight's broadcast of The Green Hornet will continue following this brief pause. The freeze is on at Kroger, and that means savings for you. Because from now until October 12th, Kroger is freezing prices on over 500 different items. It's true. For 60 days, the prices on hundreds of name brand items, items you use most often, will not change. That's a promise. So look for the blue shelf marker on over 500 items in your Kroger store. They tell you exactly which prices are frozen during the big price freeze. Going on at Kroger from now until October 12th. These popular radio dramas, created by George W. Trendle, are a copyrighted feature of The Green Hornet, Incorporated. All characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. And that's tonight's KRLD presentation of The Green Hornet. Tomorrow night, KRLD invites you to relive again the days of yesteryear when the Lone Ranger rides again. That's tomorrow night at the same time on KRLD.
will happen to your air conditioning cost if you buy Carrier's wrong one today. You'll beat the air conditioning price hike, and you'll save up to $72 a year on electricity. But wait, there's more. Carrier's SE wrong ones are twice as quiet as any other system on the market, and they're engineered to last. So save some money. Call your Carrier Dependable today. Call Spencer Air Conditioning and Heating in Irving. You are Carrier Dependable. For immediate installation, call Spencer Air Conditioning and Heating today. The News Authority. KRLV. Dallas.